Okay, I think I fixed it. Yeah, I fixed it. I fixed it. Perfect. Uh, sorry about that. <clears throat> so, um, I just had to change, uh, capture methods to, like, um, desktop, uh, screen capture, whatever it's called, instead of automatic, because that seems to be working, I guess. Just gotta hope it continues working. <gasps> yes, it works! Let's go! Okay, perfect. So, now we can get to work. So, the reason why I am here in the first place is because, um, I'm actually about to upload a time-lapse video of a... Anti-aircraft barge I built, uh, that includes the, the CRAM turret and the actual barge itself. So, we can go to the barge here. Um, looks pretty good, not gonna lie. Now, the issue is that the, um, radar's FOV is kind of only capable of kind of going this way, this way, and up. It can't really detect 360 around it. And you can see that could be an issue. And the thing is, we want to detect only one target at a time. So, my idea is that we're gonna get a, oops, radar, uh, basic radar here. And we're going to make sure these face are uh, corresponding to the um, where they are facing, I guess. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that on clockwise, no, clockwise mode, uh, we're gonna actually increase the uh, uh, x y, yeah, the y f v a lot. Um, it it has to be a total of about yeah 600 meters, I guess. This is this is um much as we can go, I guess. I guess point twelve is good. We want to have at least a bit more range than the other ones. Okay, perfect. Uh, I guess we will do the exact same for this one. Uh, okay, point twelve. Max out the Y because why not? You kind of need the up and down vision anyways. Uh, next, we're going to uh, activate this when we activate the um, anti-aircraft systems or whatever you call it. Um... Connect that to there. Perfect. Okay, so that's connected. Next, uh, we might have to do some microcontroller stuff because this one right here um, works for uh, this turret specifically. So we're gonna have to change it up a bit. So we're gonna have to make a new one. Let's um, expand the length of it a bit. Uh, I guess we kind of need a minimum of this. So I'd say like what that. That'll be good, that'll be good. Uh, okay, next we need one, two, three, four. We only need four, I'm stupid. Okay, no one, never mind. Uh, next, number, number. Okay, no what? Nope. These will go corresponding to the s <coughs> off number. Okay, good. Uh, one, two, three. Frick, they're all backwards. Perfect. And then four. Perfect! Okay, that's great. Next, um, let's see. We're gonna need a toggle, uh, so it'll be toggle radars. So this is gonna be ch basically allowing the radars to change. So yeah, this is the, um, so we'll do this, um, pitch A, pitch B. Um, your A, your B. I had to use a tutorial for this, um, or for the, um, actual, uh, radar breaking down thing for the, um, because I was so confused. I'll put a video linking the dude's channel because, why not? Um, I'll, actually, during the time lapse, I will at least. So, yeah, we have, uh, the thing set up here. So, what I'm gonna do is we're actually gonna lower the length just a bit there. Perfect. And I'm gonna go to here, toggle radars. So we're gonna do, gonna pull the yours down here. Your A pitch B pitch A perfect. I'm gonna do a switch box here. Remember switch box. So when it's off, okay, So when it's off, we want um A. When it's on, we want B. Uh, same with down here, when it's off we want A, on we want B. And this is when it gets confusing, so yeah. Uh, I'm gonna bring that there, perfect. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're going to actually add two more outputs. Make that a bit longer, there we go. Okay, once again. There we go. Okay, output, output. Pitch. Yo. Okay, that's perfect. So, we're gonna go to here, and, uh, we're gonna put that here, and here, perfect. Okay, that's actually great. Um, so what we're gonna do now is, 
Mm, I sure should we do? Yeah, right. Connect these. Okay, so you're with your pitch with pitch. Perfect. Alrighty, so this microcontroller is kind of already done. So basically, just toggles between the radars. And when I say done, I don't actually mean done because we need a few more inputs. Um, radar. So we need um, radar A trigger and radar B trigger. Oops, I want to get rid of that last one. So basically, when, you, when the radar's triggered, it basically um, will activate the turret. And we only want one of them activating the turret at a time, so... When radar B is triggered, actually... Actually, I, I think we, we don't even need the toggle radars button, actually. Uh, yeah, toggle radars? Do we even need that? No, we don't. Because we're gonna bring that back down, actually. So we've got a radar B triggered. Radar, actually, no, switch that. There you go. Radar A and radar B has been triggered. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna go back to here. So when radar B is triggered... What do we want to happen when radar B is triggered? No, this is when I spend 30 minutes just thinking of what... You need what we need to do. So when radar B is triggered, okay, we need to switch that. We need to go to a capacitor actually. So what happens is we need the capacitor. So the charge time is zero seconds, and the discharge time is. Frick, we needed like a numeral, numerical capacitor. Oh, you know, we don't need that. Because we will bring that to here. And we'll connect that to that. Perfect. So, I think that'll work. So basically, whenever it's triggered, it will turn on for six seconds. And then it will let the other radar take over. Which is going to help it. But then when radar A is triggered, we need to override that. So, that means we need a... Um, LR latch or SR latch, whatever it's called. SR latch. Um, not output. Wait, right, hold up. Okay, so basically, um, set. No, no, we need a. Um. Should we need to go back down here? I need. Okay, a JK flip flop is what I'm looking for. I think. Is it JK flip flop and SR latch literally the same exact thing, bro? Anyways, uh, let's see. So it'll go. It goes to set. It will go to the output as this. Oh wait, now I'm confusing myself. Come on, it's not. Excuse me. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. So basically, it'll go on for. Uh, she not no. Change that down to like four seconds, and it'll basically go through here. And we want that to reset it, which will go back to normal. And then, hmm, what happens when it goes back to normal? So I'll go back to pitch. Oh yeah, I'll go back to pitch A, and B, and then it will. Uh, then we do the turret trigger. Oopsies. Nope, actually, I want to cancel that other one. Turret trigger. It'll turn on the turret, so... So only... Okay, no, we need that to be a output. So only when the thing is off will it... Or on, I guess. Or when... Only when radar... Only when radar A has been toggled. Yeah, so yeah. Only when radar A has been toggled will it um, actually turn on so we'll go to an and gate go to here we'll need those two connected and that goes right to there okay so i think that's correct i mean I'm probably wrong but hmm was that is that correct yeah i don't know so only when it's triggered and it's been reset So basically, um, this, okay, so, okay, I figured it out, sorry, I needed, to work, I needed to work my head around it for a second there. So basically, if radar B is triggered, it will move the current position of the thing 
to Radar B's position, and then whenever, whenever Radar A is triggered, um, no matter what, it will override Radar B. So that means we're gonna need a blinker actually, because we need to make sure that it's always been it's always overridden. So it's it's just gonna go kind of have a seizure, I guess. I don't know. So it's just gonna start flashing the um, blinker. So basically, what this will do is, if radar B detects something, radar A doesn't. It will move and it'll move until radar A detects something, and then when radar A detects something, it will reset things uh, and make sure that this is on, causing the turret to turn on. That makes enough sense for me. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does make sense. It does make sense. I think I just did it. Okay, so um, basically, uh, dual radar track. Dual radar track is, I guess, the name. Uh, go back to here, actually. Properties. Um, dual radar tracking system. Description it. Um, for tracking. For scan. Scan. <laughs> scanning for. Um, vehicle with two radars. Perfect. Okay, so that is actually perfect. So we're gonna go to here. Dual radar. Is dual spot on the E or an L? I kind of forgot. Anyways. Uh, so we'll go to dual. Okay, I think it's with a A, but whether, whatever, whatever. Uh, so yeah, we'll take this over to... Uh, actually, no, no, I don't want to mirror that. Uh, here, so we'll have one for each turret. Here we go. And we'll have a radar track... Radar locking system right here. So, we'll have one for each of those, right here. Perfect. So, we'll send the composite signal to the thing here. Uh, the trigger doesn't need to be connected, so that's good. Um, however, what does need to be connected is the uh, pitch, because this will be for... Actually, no, let's do the left turret first, so... So this okay. So this is gonna be the left turret radio. So pitch B. We need pitch B connected. The left turret pitch B. Then your yeah your B can be connected directly to your. And then of course we can have the um your for this one go to B on this one, and pitch B for this one can go to B on this one. Perfect. Uh, next what we need to do is we need to. To, uh, right, connect, uh, or disconnect the trigger for the gun on both turrets here. Because we do not want the trigger being enabled by this scanner, because that's what the other machine's for. So the trigger will be disconnected. No, I kind of just realized something. Uh, so, yeah, the inverted number will not be going to the... Uh, this. So I'll do this the uh, rear turret first. Okay, so basically, uh, what will happen is that the. Uh, we'll do the your first. So we've got your A for the back turret. Your A for the back turret. Where the heck is it? Right here. Your A, and then we've got your uh, pitch A2 right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, right, so we actually, what we need is, uh, four inverters, so invert, numerical inverter, because if you, are uh, so I needed the number, blah, 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 inverters for that, if that made any sense at all, yay, I like speaking gibberish, it's my favorite language to speak. Uh, right, your, we need to connect this to the, your, for that, your, B, pitch, B, okay, pitch, yes. Okay, that works, that works, that works. Uh, next, we will need to, um, actually, wait, no, I see the mistake I made it. Okay, so pitch B will be connected to B. That'll be connected there, perfect! Okay, so that works. Uh, next, we need to... So basically, if the thing detects that it's been... Okay, so basically, I uh, will 
radar for this one is radar B. Then we'll do radar B2. Perfect! Okay, so we do need the triggers actually, so we'll actually just uh, take the trigger on this one, send it down to here. Right. And of course, you've got the turret trigger that turns on the turret. Trigger. And then, of course, we've got the yaw, which will be connected to that. <coughs> yeah, it's the correct one, sorry. I got confused there. I keep getting myself confused. Uh, I might have messed up some logic. If I have messed up some log logic, log 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 I'll figure it out later. Okay, your... Your... Uh, pitch. Right here. Okay, perfect! Oh, hello! I see one viewer in the chat. Uh... It looks like uh, it might just be me actually, so I'm just gonna switch that around. Perfect. Okay, there we go. Sorry. Uh, just in case that was me. Oh, that probably was me as well. Oh well. <laughs> oh well, that's stupid. Why is it? Why is the thing so like shaky? Ah, oh, somewhat fixed. Eh. Yeah, it's very shaky. Anyways, um, let's see. Okay, turret trigger, we will want to connect that to the well, trigger button right there. Alright. Okay, so I think we've actually connected everything, I think, maybe. And I think we did, yay! Okay, so we'll just go here. Uh, let's see how crappy my logic is. Okay, so battery level uh, dr does drain slow, so we're good. Uh, let's see, activate anti-air systems. So, you'll notice, wow, they're working. But are they, though? What the? What? Whoa, holy. God damn. Okay, so what we're going to do is actually we're going to head back here. And we're going to grab a good old civilian airliner and watch this thing commit war crimes. Who's ready for war crimes? Uh, Cessna, radio. Yay, war crime time. I'm excited to go commit some war crimes on my sea whiz. Okay, uh, screen. There we go, perfect. Uh, we'll actually increase the flaps here and we'll take off. Luckily, this thing has a really good takeoff system, so we're good. Okay, yep, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're go oh, yay. Okay, I think the, um, jittering is somewhat stopped on the stream. Okay, so... Whether or not this works, I don't know. Um, wh whether or not I want it to work, I will know. Okay, let's see. Can you work? Will it work? Will it work? Will it work? Okay, can I at least detect things? Does the detection system at least work? Nope, it doesn't. Of course it doesn't work. Uh, I kind of expected that, honestly. Okay, so we're gonna pull up and out right there. And uh, we're gonna turn on the stabilizer. Uh, turn off the flaps, since that's probably gonna cause some more... Um, insanity, and we're actually gonna go and go in for a bit of a quote-unquote bombing run, seeing if it even what 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 are you even pointing at? Oh God. Okay, you know what? We're gonna return that to the workbench. Okay, well, obviously something's wrong, and it could just be mis inputs between the thing or whatever. Yeah, I kind of expected that to happen. Okay, so we go to here. So, basically, we're going to go to this side. We're going to make sure that it's all linked up properly. That I didn't just misplace something. Okay, starting with this. So, this one's supposed to be for the... Yeah, the left turret, so... How do I forget to connect this one to the... Ah, uh, I'm stupid. Okay, uh, that means we got to connect the... Yeah, pitch first, pitch first. Uh, pitch A, and then of course we got your... Your A? Yeah, your A. Okay, perfect. Uh, next. Let's check. So, we have... Hey, I think everything connected. That's good. Could also just be some... Because the logic I use just sucks, maybe. Yeah, maybe it's just the logic that sucks, actually. So I basically just made one big numerical switch box for the, um... 
things, I guess. What? This, I didn't connect the trigger on this one? Okay, there we go. Perfect. See, so just a bunch of missing inputs. Inputs. I think that's connected kind of to the right one. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, the uh, thing's also connected correctly. Good. Uh, it looks like we've um, kind of fixed it. It might just be just a uh, logical, just a bunch of logical errors, I guess. Okay, nope, that is not how you get into a Cessna. We've got to go in slowly. Got yeah. Perfect. Uh, now we'll go this way, this way, turn on the flaps, up the screens. Turn. Okay, now perfect. Let me just wait to take off. Okay, go up, up, up. Okay, perfect. Let's see if that fixed anything, which probably didn't, but... Well, I'll check anyways. Okay, no, it didn't fix anything. Okay, we'll set that back to the workbench where we can work on that later. So, we're going to bring it over here. I'll take a look. I forgot to turn on the freaking CRAM system. Are you kidding me? Okay, I turned it on now. Let's see if this works. Okay, go in. Get in the seat before it does that, yeah. Okay, perfect. Uh, next, we just throttle up. Yep, that works, that works. Flaps higher up, and we'll go up. Whew, okay, good. Next, oh god, oh god, that is so much better range. That's way better range. Holy cow. Oh god! Okay, I can confirm it works. Like, really well. Maybe, actually. Okay, it might not work that well. Yeah, it doesn't really work that well, but listen, listen, listen. Did you not see how insane that was? Did you not see that? Okay, we're gonna go down again, and we're gonna test. Um, can it detect from? Can it detect me from any angle? Any angle, like literally any angle. Okay, nope. Maybe I'm too high up. I've noticed my uh, CRAM doesn't like to work when I'm. When I'm oh God! Oh God! It just turned towards me. Did you see that? Did you see that? It just turned towards me, and it turned around. Holy cow! Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna have a bit of a sneak up. We're gonna sneak up on it, okay? Sneak up on my C ram. C ram. C wham. Okay, interesting. Oh God! Oh Jesus! Okay, there is definitely something wrong with the, uh, something weird going on with the AI. That's for sure. I mean, it definitely, it does work. It does work. Oh, God. Oh, God, I've been hit. I've been hit. I'm going down. I'm going down. Oh, no. Oh, God, that works a bit too well, actually. Okay, so let's try that again, shall we? So we're going to take that back to the workbench, and we're going to go in. Uh, ah, I'm stuck in the thing. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now it's going to take off as fast as we can, and see if we can, um, just help, see if we can quote-unquote bomb the thing. Because basically, what I, my idea is that we can um, pretend to bomb it and see if it stops me or not. That's going to be the ultimate test. Okay, uh, attempt to the bombing. Bombs away! Oh god! Uh, yeah, the, 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 the CRAM didn't work that time. I guess we're going to take that back. It's probably just a radar error, actually. Because if we look over here, it rotates and sometimes what are you aiming at what the okay what are you guys what are you, what are these CRAM turrets aiming at oh you're aiming that oh no you're aiming this way now can you guys okay can these CRAM turrets just tell me where they're aiming it's so much it'd be so much better okay actually i think it's just uh like a physical uh radar error if we go back to here uh, pitch angle none. I should want that to go maybe up to. There we go. Perfect. Speed. 
Um, okay, so that's actually perfect. So we'll go anti-clockwise on this one. Uh, point two, actually, not point three. Uh, actually, not not go could just about, about skimming the line between point one. I, I don't think there's anything, but anyways, yeah. So yeah, now uh, they're rotating different directions, and we'll see if that does literally anything. Alrighty, well, let's do this. Alright. I mean, it does work. It does work. It doesn't not work. That's about all I can say about it, though. Okay, I don't know what's going on on my screen there. Uh, we'll go to here, and then we'll go to here, and then we'll go to squeeze in here, and then we'll sit here. Uh, that on, screen on, uh, let's try that again. R a throttle up. Uh, okay, flaps at max. I pr you probably don't want flaps at max, but no, that's fine. And we'll take off. Okay, perfect. Uh, and we'll just take off, pretend that... <sighs> Oh god, run, run! <laughs> okay, I don't, I don't know if the CRAM works that well still, but no, it might work better. It just might, might just work better because I wanted to be able to check things in the sky, and it didn't really, it wasn't really able to do that before. So this is a major accomplishment, I guess. Oh god! Okay, well it does work. The moment it stops detecting me, it just goes back to, like, f turning its head around. Okay, so it's gonna pull a- Oh, god, okay, not enough throttle, not enough throttle, not enough throttle. I, f I kind of forgot that I was lowering the throttle the entire time. Okay, there we go, perfect. Uh, I don't know how that I dealt, like, almost no damage there, but anyways. Look how fast it swings around, though, the moment it detects me. Okay, no, no, no. Oh dear. But I also have another idea. It's actually what some, uh, this other dude did during the thing. So it's like, it only, um, turns for targets whenever it actually, did, whenever it's actually ready to shoot. Which I'm gonna do, cause it might actually work better, so. Okay, yeah. Uh, no idea what's going on with this CRAM here. It's like, going, facing the complete wrong way. CRAM, please don't kill yourself. Uh, anyways, uh, we're gonna go back to here and we're gonna check the... Um, this. Dual radar system. Here we go. So, whenever one of them is triggered, then the output gets sent out. So, what we're gonna do is we're going to... Uh, switch box. That's a composite switch box. There we go, perfect. So many different switch boxes is here. And only when uh, either of the radars are triggered. Shall it? Shall it actually, uh, you know, hmm. Then, uh, yeah, I guess this one just makes sure that it, um, only works whenever the thing's connected. Let's see if this makes, like, any difference at all in how this functions, but I doubt it will. In fact, I think it'll make it worse. But, you know, I'll try it anyways, because at least I'm trying it. Plus, I could always change it later. Okay, nope, there we go. Perfect! Uh, connect, 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 connect. Connect! Perfect! And we'll, uh, just do that. Uh, go to here, and we'll do this. I think it still works, hopefully. Maybe. It does do work, still. Okay, no, we'll test it out. Let's see if it, uh, will detect the Cessna or not. This is a very simple aircraft, which is why I'm uh, for testing purposes, so that's why I'm using it. Uh, so we'll pull throttle up. 
this is also a good test to see if it's capable of committing war crimes or not, so... Because it shouldn't be able to shoot me, but it should be able to shoot military aircrafts. It's kind of the rule of, um, a pl of a anti-air system. Oh! Oh, oh god! Oh god. CRAM did spot me, however it didn't fire at me. It has not opened fire yet, but it has moved around because it detected me. I will do a really sharp U-turn here, and then we'll go back. Oh god! It does work, it does work, it does work. Uh, bombing run, here we go. Okay, I think I've just made it worse, to be honest with you. God, the oil spills are insane. Okay, next we're just gonna go on a bit of a uh, dive so that we can try and uh, bomb this thing, I guess. Or whenever I say I'm gonna bomb it, I'm probably not gonna bomb it. I just, I'm not actually trying to bomb it. I'm really, in reality, just trying to, you know. Yeah, I think it makes it worse. Oh God, uh, I can confirm it works. It's, uh, we don't have a runaway aircraft. Oh, that's the issue. Okay, we got it. Uh, okay, I figured out the issue. I figured out the issue. It's actually a really easy one to fix. So when the trigger actually goes off, we want the thing to go off for at least a second. So we're gonna get a second capacitor. Uh, charge time, uh, when go point ones, point two seconds. Discharge time, uh, one point five seconds. If you don't know, one second. Okay, so that fixes one of them, and then we've got the second one here, yeah, which will be fixed. And this thing is going to be insanely powerful if it works correctly. Like, insanely powerful. Uh, point 0.5, actually no, point one second. Did I put it on one second before? I have very bad dementia. I, I don't have dementia, by the way. Uh, anyways, uh, let's go back to this one. Did I put it on point 0.5? No, I didn't. Okay, good, 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 good. Next, we're going to get it out, and we're going to test it out. Uh, let's see. Activate AA. Okay, so the anti-air is back on again, so that's great. Uh, maybe let's respawn the runaway aircraft that is somewhere. Oh, it's right there. Oh, it crashed. Hey, the engines is on somehow. Yeah, I don't know why it does that sometimes. <sighs> okay, there we go. Ah, uh, no, I don't. I want to turn it back on, man. There we go, perfect. Okay, uh, let's see if this works now, cause I've just improved it like a lot. So it should detect it immediately and just completely obliterate me. Uh, if the math behind my uh, turret is functional, at least. Okay, nope, it's not really that functional. <gasps> oh god, oh god, okay, that's ins- Oh, that was insane. That's ins- Okay, that's insane, that's insane. Oh, hello! Um, hello, Skeptic. Nobody has been listening to you until now. Anyways, hi. Yes. Ah, uh, yes, I was aware of that. So I didn't even realize you were joining, but, uh, I, you joined, but, uh, yeah, hello. Um, so currently I'm trying to make a, uh, trying to get my CRAM to work that I spent two and a half frickin' hours working on, because right now it has a really narrow detection radius, and, uh, seeing if I can get it working. So I'm currently just gonna pretend I'm about to bomb this thing and see if it- <gasps> Oh, God! Yeah, that kind of just does that sometimes. It likes to swing around for no reason at all. Uh, okay, let's just go. Nope, this way. Ah. Okay, no, stabilize it off. There we go. By the way, this isn't my Cessna. Uh, this is like a one that I got off the workshop. The barge over there, though, is mine. Yeah, that's mine. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I uh, try not to get shot. Uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah, the engine might be like damaged. Yeah, that happened. I can confirm it works. I can confirm I've uh, I've taken some hits. Yeah, I don't think my engine's gonna work for that much longer. <sighs> oh, phew. Yeah, my engine ain't gonna work much longer, I'm afraid. Oh, fire! Fire, 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 fire! Uh, abandoned plane. Abandoned plane. No, no clip out! Oh, God! Okay, uh, I can confirm my CRAM works better than it did before. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what, that's, uh, this is what they're doing. They're just kind of 
doing that, yeah. Yeah, so what I uh, did, um, so basically, uh, what? So, water one of these particles coming from the, like, from the wheel or something. Oh, from the front wheel, um, the wheels? What do you mean by wheels? Because the wheels usually just make those particle effects, like when they're skidding across the ground. Uh, ah, there you go, much better. Um, but, uh, yeah, these, um, the particle effects is because they're, like, shooting guns and stuff yeah so um i spent like over an hour developing just the um cram alone and then i spent um yeah this is what happens when you stand on top of the cram that's what happens when you stand on top of the cram pro tip don't stand on top of it i want to stand on top of this actually so yeah uh what i did was i've been trying to test it out by adding a secondary radar to this to the um equation which basically is going to make it better since um this one so basically Okay, so what happens is that this one's rotating in a 360 degree circle, right? And that's good because you have 360 detection. Now, the bad thing about the radar I first started with is that it has this little sweep action, so it's not even it's, so that it's not even going that far. So the idea is that this gives it 360 degree vision, and um, I think it works. It's like a bit of smoke here. Yeah. Hold on a sec. Uh, where is the runway aircraft? Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, let's respawn that. Uh, I guess we'll try that again, actually. Um, since you're here to see the entire thing, I want to watch you. Or I want you. I want you to watch uh, the thing working. So it's gonna start her up, and uh, here we go. Flaps down. Uh, pull up. Here we go. Oh yeah, a very safe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> insane. Pro tip, kids: if you see a CRAM turret, block the sensor. You'll be- it'll be amazing. Okay, on serious note, don't do that. Oh, God! And it's shooting the wrong way! Come on! You worthless piece of garbage! Shoot the right way! I know I used a crappy tutorial for you, but shoot the right way! I spent days designing you. Shoot the right way for me. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, run, 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 uh, this, the turret's going rogue. Um, pro, uh, yeah, so can I tell you a really funny story about this? Um, so when I was, uh, designing this, uh, I was actually testing this Cessna against it, and instead of shooting me, it decided to go for a real civilian airliner, like, a whole kilometer away from its, um, from me. So yeah, that sucked. Uh, so yeah, this thing has committed war crimes, so that did happen. Oh, this this is what you mean by smoke. Yeah, so this, that's the exhaust, by the way. That's what the exhaust looks like, so. Pro tip, the smoke is the exhaust. Almost every vehicle with an engine has an exhaust like that, so. Oh god, okay. Uh, I don't know, it's shooting the wrong way. For like, no reason at all. Okay, no, no! <laughs> stabilize, stabilize, stabilize! Oh god. Run. Okay, why is it on fire? The freaking aircraft keeps. Oh, right, because the cruising altitude was 90, to be fair. Yeah, uh, that happened. Goodbye. Okay, uh, we'll just, uh, head out here. Okay, nope. Okay, nope. Go this way, and then this way. I can confirm it works. Um, yeah. However, it barely works. And whenever it does work, it sucks. Yeah, this is what happens when you send it from the gun. It just detects you constantly, and then it goes off. Now, what I want is for... Okay, what the heck? What airline is in the sky? Anyways, what I'm... Okay, my next experiment is gonna be, um, the, uh, full test. So I'm gonna... It works! Oh my god, it works, it works, it actually works. It actually worked for a second. Okay, the secondary weapon works. <gasps> it works! It works! It works! It works! Yes, I've been getting, I'm trying to get this to work for ages now. Yeah, I can confirm it does work now. Okay, uh, let's see. Take a look. Will, the se will this one work, though? Will that one work? It's really just a test of seeing if both of them work properly. Okay, well, this one works probably because of the crappy angle it's at. Nope, never mind. Okay, so this one does actually work, luckily. However, yeah. On pro tip, smoke is exhaust. Very useful. Yeah, exactly. I know, like best best tips of best tips of the year, right? Like definitely. Okay, how the frick do I fix this? It's just upside down now. 
Um, I can confirm it works though. Okay, uh, yeah. Minor technical difficulties with the gun. Yeah, this is what happens when you stand in front of the gun, by the way. Yep, that's what happens. It just instantly kills anyone who touches the bullet. Um, and I'm deceased. There we go, perfect. Okay, perfect. Uh, what else should we do? Nope, go in here, test it again. Okay, the radar does work, luckily, so that's a start. Um, okay, so next I'm gonna go back here. Uh, this is actually probably one of the shortest streams I've had yet, because I've kind of already fixed it. Uh, I guess after this I will go on a multiplayer server, um, have, have some more fun with it, and then maybe uh, finally start editing the time-lapse video I was going to make. Yes, I still haven't edited that yet, if you're wondering. Uh, let's do this uh, amphibious uh, helicopter here. Let's see, let's see how a helicopter does against my CRAM. Okay, let's see. Uh, this is... Um... Electronics relay, hydraulics relay, main battery, secondary battery, engine controller, fuel pump, generator. Rotor brakes. Rotor stowage, rotor tail stowage, nope, never mind. No, unstow the stupid- Ah! No! Ah, perfect. Uh, okay, next we're going to... I have never played... The game in... I'm very unfamiliar with pretty much everything. Okay, so basically, this is Stormworks. Um, probably one of the most realistic water physics games you have around. One of the most realistic water physics games that your computer can actually run, at least. Um, with, like, no issues at all. Uh, I think I'm in the wrong side. Yeah, I'm on the wrong side. There we go. Uh, um, my brain ain't braining. This is confusing me. How do I turn on the rotors? Okay, brakes enabled. How do I disable the brakes? Avionics! Okay, that's so much better. Brake switch. Okay, does anyone know how to start a helicopter? Uh, yeah, so basically all these vehicles you're seeing are player made. Not well, specifically made by me, but other players. Uh, let's see. Uh. Hmm. Hey, what the heck? Okay, how do I start a helicopter? Okay, no, that's the plate. Okay, then you got, of course, the... Then, of course, you got the shift. Nope. How do I increase speed? Oh, there. Maybe. Maybe? And then mode down? Engine status? Engine mode up! Yes, found it! Oh crap, okay, wait, never mind. Okay, here we go. Uh, guess we just do shift. Which which button makes us go up? Uh, how, how do you go up in helicopter? Something for the pitch, probably. I just need to figure it out. So, oh, up! The up key. Right. I forgot that's how keys work. Every time you read what I said, your voice goes really quiet. <laughs> oh, yeah! It's probably because my microphone background noise has issues, so I have to. I basically lean over to my second monitor to read the comments, so. Yeah, this is what happens when I bring my monitor over. Uh, yeah, so. Your voice goes really quiet, and then. I can I can faintly hear it. Okay, uh, so yeah, that's what happens whenever my um, microphone does that, I guess. Uh, anyways, let's go up! 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 Come on, CIWS systems work! Oh crud, run! Ah, run! Oh crud, I s you, you can see it turning. Okay, there we go. Oh, we need to go backwards. Uh, no, we need to go to... Uh, uh, this is an emergency, we need to go to emergency mode. Actually, no, no, I think that'll overheat the engine like uh, the other one did, so turn it back to normal. Uh, we'll go this way. Damn, this is fast. Okay, we'll go this way, and then we will go over here. Oh, God. 
Okay, I can confirm the turning in this thing is very violent. Okay, let's try and quote unquote attack it again. Like I said, when I say attack, I mean it's like a recreation to try and get that thing to start up and fire at me. So let's go down a bit. Let's get ready to gun, gun it. Ah, uh, how do I go down? Oh god, the CIWS thing probably sees me, doesn't it? What the heck are they aiming? Okay, yeah, that seems to be a minor uh, problem with the CIWS system. Oh god. Uh, okay, let's see if I can do this. So, go this way, go this way. I don't think I can detect the helicopter, to be honest with you. It's like just not working. It's either that or the... It's just rotating too much. Oh my god, the, the stupid thing needs to turn. Okay, how do how do I cap how much a stupid thing can turn? Uh, let's see if I can go down and just attack this thing. I feel like playing with a nuclear weapon. It's like one wrong move. I guess I am playing with a weapon, but yeah. Just wondered if you remember who I am. Oh yeah, I do remember who you are really well, actually. What the heck just happened? Yeah, we went over another runaway helicopter that's on fire. Uh, yo, CIWS, you want to, like, um, fire at that thing? Like a normal CIWS cannon would? Ah, finally! It took him long enough. Oh, oh, it's getting obliterated. Okay, I have a better idea, actually. I think I know what's might, what might be causing it. Because I set it to where the this one goes for 4 seconds. So that's the discharge time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it to, I guess, 1 second, I guess. I don't really need it more than 1 second because it's, it flings so fast. Go to here, go to here, discharge time. I don't think you were here when I developed this. It only took like a minute. Like, 10 minutes of make actually it wasn't that hard. Uh, okay, next we go to spawn it again. Maybe? There it is. Okay, then we go back here, and we go to here. We turn on the th uh, system again. Uh, we take a look up and see the thing um, completely just dying. Okay, that thing just disabled. There you go. Perfect. Okay, next we go to here, and we uh, maybe, 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 just maybe uh, remove the helicopter. Okay, perfect. Um, let me go to here. How do you get the rotors outside of the building zone? If you look kind of in the transparent area. Why am I in the... There I go. Workshop area. Perfect. Um, let's take a look here. I guess we'll go to this helicopter now. Let's try this. Okay, can I take down a helicopter at least? This is a search and rescue helicopter. This is huge, actually. Alrighty, so this should be easy to control, maybe. Okay, I think I just chose an even worse one to control. Uh, okay, whatever that means. Uh, engine pump. Okay, uh, main, main. Okay, hydraulics, battery bus. <coughs> generators. Rotor brake can disable. Uh, this is the cold pilot seat. Sometimes I forget the pilot seats like the other way. Uh, next we're gonna go to the, uh, that one right there. Cabin heat. No, we don't really need that. We kind of, we probably want cabin cooling. If I were to be, if I were to be honest. Nope, heading mode. What heading? Nope, disable. There we go. Uh... Cockpit... Navigation lights, spotlights, inf forma formation lights. Okay, beacon, uh, no. Winch spotlights, no. How do I turn on the stupid... Ah, avionics! That is cool. Alrighty, here we are! Ready to go! So, I remember this one, so... Target RPM is... Must be way higher. Oh, I kind of forgot about- I kind of forgot fuel valves existed. Probably should have checked that first. I should thought I already enabled the fuel, so... Just kind of thought to ignore it. Okay, here we go. Up. 
Silence warning. Is the rotor brake on or something? What's going on, man? Uh, okay, I have no idea how to operate a helicopter, so this might take me like another 30 minutes to do, so that sucks. Oh, I have a second viewer! Who is the second viewer I see in chat? That's a door. Uh, let's take a look here. Anti-ice main rotor, rear motor, anti-ice engines. Okay, I'm sure I'm missing something. I've operated this before and I realized like after like 10 minutes that I was missing something annoying. It's definitely not the rotor brake because that's the thing I just disabled. Okay. Okay, look, actually, it's probably here somewhere. Okay, how do I do this? I wonder. Okay, um... Don't mind the technical difficulties. This might take another, like, 30 flippin' minutes to do. Oh! Why, why was that off? No, actually, I thought I turned it on. Why was it off? Okay, here we go. We're gonna... Up the pitch and we're gonna not um run into the hangar and we're gonna go off and let's that's that's a lot of oil uh that's that's a lot of oil uh there's like a bug with the new uh the oil add-on that kind of just oh god oh god oh god uh smoke 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 ah ah fire did I did I mess it up? No, I didn't. Oh, crud. Uh, they 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 they're, they're going insane. Okay, well the flares are gonna cause my cause a server to lag. That sucks. Uh, yeah, that might be an issue. Okay, how do I how do I do this? So it's gonna. How, what if what would happen if I maxed out the pitch? Would it just destroy the helicopter? Go oh, you left. Ah, oh, now the oil's working. Okay, we'll go this way and we'll see how far we get. Okay, the stupid master. Caution and master warning. I couldn't care less. Why did this... Okay, we need to have to go up. Okay, so we're attempting to attack it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, okay. Hold up, hold up. We need to slow down. Slow down. Okay, wait. No, 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 no. Okay, they're, they're attacking me. Okay, yeah, I think, um... Okay, why are they just continuously firing? Are they gonna, like, overheat or something? Okay, there we go. Okay, I think I've actually uh, fixed it now. Seems to have way more um, clear uh, coverage. Oh god! Okay, mayday, mayday, mayday. Okay, we're going down. Uh, okay, we need to fire the rest of the uh, flares. Ah, uh, no, we're out. Um, yeah, we might be out of flares. That sucks. Ah, uh, crud. Ah, uh, crud. Okay, no, we need to get out of here. We need to get out of here. Is there no parachute on this? Oh, there's no parachute. That sucks. Um. Uh, okay, we need to go down, 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 down. Uh, so we're gonna shut off the engines. We're gonna maybe unmute the warnings. Nope, that is... That, those are not the warnings. There you go. Okay, door hatch. Nope. I'm gonna let this thing go down, if it will ever go down. Okay, perfect. Well, it's gonna take this down here, and then... Well, maybe we might just uh, move this way a bit for uh, safety. Why was I going using the up arrow? There we go, perfect. Okay, and we go down. We're gonna land in the water because water landings are epic, and for some reason everyone likes them. Actually, by for some reason, I mean I also like them too. <sighs> Slow down, okay? Because we're about to hit the water, and uh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ready? Okay, so slowly. So okay. Oh, it's a low altitude warning. Okay, ready, ready, ready. Here we go, here we go. Okay, gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Oh, <gasps> oh! I almost hit the blades. I, I I might have hit the blades. Oil spill. <laughs> Oil spill. You wouldn't see. <laughs> Ow. What is this? I see. 
Ah, oh, both vehicles back to where they belong. Okay, no, we'll clean them up. I think we've done a great job today, actually. It's been a total of one hour. I guess we'll, um, I guess we, I say we do one more run here with a session, with a plane, and then we end it. Just to get that, um, a one hour mark. <laughs> Uh, plane. I also noticed that it does work on boats, too, my thing, so it's really overpowered. But the ammo, it uses about 100 ammo, 100 ammo per, like, shot. Like, those, like, those, those like, array of shots you saw. It uses about 100 ammo, and I can only have one drum at a time, and one drum has 100 ammo, so. I have to reload it four times in order to get a 100 ammo back in, which is kind of annoying, so. Infinite ammo is suggested. Or just, uh, build an ammo reloading station, I don't know. Uh, by the way, you can actually find, um. If anyone in chat here plays Stormwix, uh, you can actually, uh, find my, uh, vehicle in. Uh, whatever you call it. The workshop page. Uh, the, uh, barge, I mean, the anti-aircraft barge, and also the, the uh, CRAM system, too. Uh, it took me hours to design, so it'd be much appreciated if you could subscribe to it, and, uh, yeah. Also, maybe subscribe to the channel while you're here. You know, a bit of self-promotion, not that bad. Uh, anyways, where the crud is... a uh, plane. I need small plane that isn't big. Because small plane equals small plane, yeah. Small... We're all small. Hey, we're small. Those are not small, those are big. Okay, small plane. Nope, that's the somewhat class, whatever it's called. Yeah, somewhat class. Dude, I'm sad that didn't work. I think I think it didn't work actually. I don't even remember if I tested it out or not. <sighs> we have no small planes, guys. That might be an issue. Uh let's head back up. Uh I guess we can try out the Oh, the Grumman. I guess the Grumman's gonna work. Crazy, it's me. Oh, yeah, see you again. Hello. I hope the channel's going well. Uh, currently, uh, I'm testing out my CRAM system. Um, this is a game called Stormworks. I probably told you about it before. Here's my CRAM system. Pro tip. Don't stand in front of the radar that detects it, or else it'll start firing into the sky. Yay! I like wasting ammunition, yay. Okay, anyways, uh, we'll go back into this plane here. Yeah, by the way, that, uh, that CRAM system and the bot took me like two and a half hours to make. So please subscribe, if you haven't already. I just, how did I put two self-promotions in the, in like a few minutes? How the crap did I manage that? Okay, battery master, nav lights, drill lights. Okay, not now. Landing lights, actually, yeah, strobe lights can go on. Uh, generators, fuel pump. Ah, there we go. How the crap do I do this? Oh, wait, we need to start it. Three viewers, I am subbed, yes. Actually, um, Skepnik, uh, the highest viewers count I had so far was like four or five. It was from my last stream. Here we go! Uh, throttle up, and we're off, and let's see if my, um, CRAM is going to kill me or not. Ah, uh, I don't know why this plane always does that, it just kind of, like, nose dives. I think that happened in the old server I was in, playing with my friend. Ah, parking brake! Go up! Up! Stabilizer. Oh, I'm dead. Ah! No! CRAM, I'm begging you, no! CRAM, 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 why, what the heck are you doing, CRAM? That is, like, you are not shooting at anything. Okay, that happened. Uh, let's just, uh, head this way. I don't even think the audio's on in this game, actually. I don't, I don't think you guys can hear the audio, but no, that's fine. Let's just fold up the floats. There we go. Ah, perfect! Um, yeah, this is what happens. Is it detecting the bullets, maybe? <gasps> ah! Up! Ah, oh, phew! Oh god, yep, this is what happens when your CRAM goes insane. Ah! Pull up! 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 Oh god! Okay, let's see if this thing can hit us or not. 
See how easy it is to avoid my CRAM. But uh, let's pretend that we're about to bomb it. Oh, oh, we just got hit. We just got hit and didn't get any damage. It keeps doing that, yeah. It keeps like hitting its own bullets. Some things are so unrealistic and some things are, yeah. Most of this stuff is unrealistic. Like the intense, do, how do we already have a fire? We've just started and we already have a fire. Are you kidding me? Okay, no watch. We're gonna go this way and we're gonna take a water landing. Let me get, let me show you guys how realistic the water physics are in this game. So, we're just gonna dive into the water here. Don't mind me. Boom! And we're in. Suffocating the engines in the process. Yeah, by the way, the dark spots are oil. There has been a major oil leakage. Yeah, I kind of just killed the engines, didn't I? I think one of the floaties. Oh yeah, the fire is out! Let's go, the fire's out! Okay, um... Okay, let's see. Open the cockpit door. Let's see how realistic the water physics are. This is, uh, yeah, it does that, but if we sit back and watch, um, we'll actually notice if I have a flashlight on me somewhere. Flashlight? No, f no flashlight. Hold on. Where is flashlight? Uh, okay, night vision binoculars. Good enough. Yeah, you might notice there's water coming in now. Real, most realistic um, water physics that you'll see without that doesn't destroy your computer. Um, it doesn't collide with objects, but it uses like sealed rooms. So, for instance, the room I'm in currently is a uh, sealed room. So, uh, if I were to close the door here, since it's all sealed, I think. I'm just on think. Uh, there should be no water getting in, but of course. Oh god. Okay. No. What time to get out? Time to get out. Ah, crud. Uh, oh no. Okay, no. How do I just go through the wall? There we go, perfect. You might notice we're sinking, yay. Oh, also, uh, don't forget about the uh, hatch here. Lock override, perfect. The mooring hatch, uh, whatever this is. Don't get- oh, oh, it's the sleeping quarter thing, yeah. Is that implosion physics? Uh, um, I'm just gonna assume that you meant that in a actual interest, interested way. Uh, no, there are no implosion physics. Uh, however, uh, pressure is a thing. So if I were to go down too deep into the water, um, this isn't deep enough. Not deep enough. I need deeper water. Give me a sec. Let's find. Let's find deeper water. Ah, here we are. Maybe. Oh, there you go, the pressure meter. You see that little pressure gauge on the bottom right there? That's the pressure. So you can get killed by varying pressure. Ah, crap, I'm lost. Uh, okay. Ah, oh, I think a new- I think a new oil spill's happened. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Ah, what a, why is there so much oil all of a sudden? God damn! Yeah, guys, this is what happens to the environment. Don't crash planes or else this will happen. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have a permanently destroyed environment somehow. It's possible. To, are missiles possible to make? Actually, yes. Um, there's, there's actually a lot of missiles, um, things here. So if we um, head here, so let's see. I, I'm going to show you what it's like to make a missile. So uh, let's go to warhead. So we have different warhead bodies. Uh, detonates from an impact. Uh, let's do let's do a large warhead here. So if you wanted to make this massive nuclear bomb or something, uh, we could do something like. Uh, you know I don't think that'll work. Let's just do something like this, for instance. And then we have rocket boosters right here. Be a large right here. So then we could have a, for instance, a um, thing going like a. This, for instance, this would this would be a if we could then we could add some like navigation systems, and then maybe some uh, fins, uh, so that we could actually get the thing like moving and stuff. So yeah, uh, do, if you want to see what it looks like for a warhead to go off, let me just uh. Oh no, 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 no! Please no! Please no! Please no! Ah, oh, ah, oh, few, ah, oh, few, few. Okay, give me a sec, give me a sec. Um, bomb. Okay, perfect. Uh, bomb disposal suit. Here we go. So, we're gonna have a, uh, SMG. Guns do exist in the game. By the way, the, um, for the guns, for anything to do with bombs and guns and weapons and the armor, you do need the weapons DLC for the game, and I have all three DLCs for the game, so 
that works. Okay, step one, put on the bomb disposal outfit. Step two, grab my SMG. Step three, get as far back as possible. Actually, you know what? No, since I'm wearing a disposal suit, I'm fine. Are you ready for this? Five, four, three, two. Wait, hold on, no. Wait, give me a sec. My HP is way too low for this. Uh, first aid. I need more. I need med kits. Hold on. Yeah, I forgot. You need you need full HP if you want to survive this. I think. See that way, you just don't survive at all. Perfect. Ready? Three, two, one. And my health went from max to almost dead. And so did the so so did literally everything to do with the warhead. Okay, what what happened to the warhead? Yeah, the, the, they might have just yeah. I went to the shadow realm. I'm sorry. Like, dude, it's not even it's not even visible on the map. It's just vanished. Uh, anyways, I do kind of need first aid kits. So yeah, that's what happens. Uh, without a bomb disposal suit, I easily would have died. So yeah. Okay, perfect. Uh, we'll drop the gun. Uh, night vision goggles. Ah, my eyes. Okay, there you go. Uh, then we'll just clean that up. Perfect. And I think we've uh finally uh completed everything now. Uh, minus the slowly growing um oil spill that's gonna destroy most of the world in a few months, a few real life months of me playing this. Uh, yeah. Good work, team. I guess we shall end it with, um, I guess we shall end it with making the radar just shoot me, I guess? Yep, that didn't work. Hello! Oh, no, I saw the bullets. There you go. Shoot. I need you to shoot. Shoot! I guess it doesn't want to. Hey, good news is I can identify whether or not, um, it's a person or not who... I, can, I think I died. Can I identify an enemy? Oh, no, it can't. It can't. Ah, God. Okay, yeah. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah, okay, that works. Uh, anyways, uh, I, I hope you all enjoyed the stream. I'm gonna be, um, grinding on multiplayer servers with my barge here. Um, for a bit. Um, I guess I can show you the whole thing working. Uh, so we'll do... That and that. Perfect. And then we'll start up the engines. Perfect, and we'll pull it up. Just stop oil. Just stop oil press. <laughs> so true. So so true, bro. Just stop the oil protesters would be so mad. That is the that is the best thing I've heard all day. Okay, we'll lower the engine throttle since it does kind of freak up the entire thing in reverse. Okay, did I just kill the engine? Oh wait, never mind. Are we going backwards or are we going forwards? Don't nope, be going backwards. Good. Yeah, I, I could actually, I couldn't agree more. And we'll see. Yeah, I don't know what I was going to say that. But, um, yeah, so... So this this is this, this, this was just a bit of a live stream of teaching you guys how to destroy the environment for good. Um, I kind of hope you all enjoyed, because... Reasons, I guess, yeah. I know I'm acting like this is the end of a video instead of, like, a live stream. Anyways, um, I guess we can conclude it here. Uh, let's slow that down a bit. Yeah, there we go. Reverse off, uh, throttle up. Yeah, I kind of killed out the engine. Hold on. I probably should turn off the clutch, shouldn't I? Okay, perfect. And we go. Everyone would agree on that. Yeah, agreed. I mean, I mean, tech technically, technically, um, for all the psychopathic just up the oil protesters, they've actually destroyed the environment more than they've tried to save it. Let's see, sprinkling orange toxic chemicals onto plants to show that just up the oil matters. Um, let's think. What else? Blocking traffic, making all the cars idle, um, making them waste even more fuel. Uh, what else? Well, yeah, I guess it's, 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 there's a whole list of things I could say, but... Yeah. My fa honestly, my favorite clip would be the one where they drag the girl by the hair and just, like, pull her onto the sidewalk. That's probably one of the best clips I've seen. Epic first... Epic first stream... Uh, Skepnik, you're a bit... Oh, epic fire stream. I thought it said epic first stream. Even though I'm wearing glasses, my eyesight still, for some reason, sucks. Anyways... Sitting on an F1 track. Hmm. 
Wait, you are right now? Wait, I'm confused. Anyways. Uh, so, yeah. Um, minus, yeah, so, like, like I said, minus the, um, uh, the mass destruction of the environment, and probably murdering and making, like, 50 species of fish extinct. I guess we could, uh, yeah, include the live stream, so, hope you all enjoyed, um, uh, I guess I'll see you in another stream, and goodbye.